G'day, g'day. This is CC from Generation Wellness Global, and I just want to do a quick, quick video on trans fats and a little bit of information about fat in general. Um, because I think one of the things we, we've lost sight of in the whole campaign against saturated fats um, is that your your brain is made of fat. Your myelin sheath around your nerve cells that protects your nerves is made of fat. Um, the membranes around every cell in your body is a lipid bilayer. It's made of fat. Um, so one of the things that we really need to ask ourselves is what is the quality of the fats that I am consuming? Because it's going to make a difference. That your that that's the building blocks that you're offering your body for your brain, for your nerves, for your cell membranes. Um, so you really want to consider what you're offering um, in terms of the quality of fats. And one of the things, um, but, you know, saturated fats have been given a bad rap for a long time. And I think that. We need to sort of reconsider and look a bit deeper into um, some of the research. Also, your brain is made predominantly of a lot of cholesterol. So if you're on um, drugs that stop you from producing cholesterol, you may want to also do some additional research. Um, but we, oh, there's so much misinformation about health. And I just wanted to clarify um, some, of, some of the the thinking around fats has probably been a little bit off because you look now at the number of degenerative brain diseases, the neurodegenerative stuff, the nerve myelin sheath is deteriorating. Um, there's brain deterioration and it's like this mystery of like why so many people are um, having so many conditions and um, that we <laughs> it took something that was natural and we made something that was unnatural and told people that that was healthier. <laughs> it usually doesn't work that way. <laughs> so um, essentially a, a trans fat is um, it's when they've taken an unsaturated fat. A saturated fat is when something's got every bond to the carbon is a hydrogen. So it's saturated with the maximum number of hydrogens it can have for each car carbon in the chain. That's a really sciencey, complicated, sounds funny, it's not. It, you've got a carbon chain and every, every possible bond that there can be of hydrogen is filled with hydrogen. Unsaturated, it doesn't have as many hydrogen. Um, and then trans, they take something unsaturated and then do something to it to make it into a, a forced saturated sort of situation. So they force it to look like a saturated fat, but it's not, it's done artificially. And that's like your margarine and stuff. So they've, they've done that to make it a solid spread and it's really not good for you. <laughs> um, trans fats are really, they're not good. And you're much better off trying to um, nourish your brain with natural things. Now, I'm not saying we should go out and eat liters and liters of butter and ghee and other things um, because I'm, I uh, really, enjoy the work of Dr. Robert Morse, who um, talks about a lot of fruit and herbs. And when people say to me, you know, that you have to eat protein to build protein, it's as simple as that and things like that. I'm just like, try and have that conversation with a gorilla, please, because, <laughs> um, or a horse, you know, a stallion, a really nice, fine, fit, healthy, muscular, 
go and go and have that conversation with that horse that eats grass and hay. <laughs> so now I'm not saying there are proteins and fats in the in the grass seeds and you know, but they don't go out and go. I have to go and eat meat to get all my fats and proteins and um. So we need to we need to sort of take a step back and look at nature, look at what naturally happens, and is what we're being told true like no other animal goes out and goes oh i need to take my cholesterol meds because i'm blah 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 but they have a natural diet so we have to get back to what are we naturally designed to eat and how do we get more healthy natural food into our diet um but in particular you know when you're looking at fat we need to get back into this idea that um, our nerves, our brain, our cells, that that fat is an essential component. So we need to make sure the quality of that is worth putting in and worth building our cells upon. Um, and so I was trying to, the reason this came to mind was I was trying to explain to my kids the other day um, about the quality of fat and why it was important and that basically when you're having trans fats you slowly over time have been building your cells on that and so the quality of your cells is slowly deteriorating with the more of the synthetic stuff you put in because synthetics when they're built into your natural cell membrane for example they don't work the same way in being able to transfer and uptake vitamins and minerals into the cell they can't do the same operations to the same efficacy to the same degree they they're not as efficient they're not as effective and so you're trying to work this very complex biological system called your body with substandard pieces um, you know putting in the wrong fats into the membrane is not going to help you put in the right vitamins and minerals and salt balances into your cells and um, a lot of um, a lot of the uptake of nutrients in the cells has to be done actively by the membrane and by the proteins in the membrane so if if you can't build the membrane properly because of the quality of the fats then you can't uptake the nutrients effectively you can't actively do those processes. So it's really um, just worth thinking about. And I'm not drawing any conclusions for you about how you need to adjust things for you. Um, if you wanted to talk um, more privately, you're welcome to reach out. But I just invite you to explore and research a bit more. Um, you know, some really healthy saturated fats. Cook, you can cook in coconut oil, um, even ghee. Uh, and the, the thing is the smoke point for those is really high as well. So they don't, they're not going to denature as you cook. So a lot of the problem with some of your um, polyuns, your unsaturated fats, like your, your vegetable oils, even though you can get good quality oils, like flaxseed is amazing for health you don't want to cook in it because the smoke point's really low so you're actually destroying it as you cook and making it quite not good for your body by destroying it as you cook but have it raw in your capsules or on your cereal or whatever um, um i've got a child that has some hemp seed oil on their porridge in the morning um that's how they like to take it so uh it's really important that we that we understand the implication of the choices we're making i know that there's still a bit of a philosophy out there that it doesn't matter what i put in because it all gets broken down in my body and it just it doesn't matter but it, it does okay so the quality of what you're putting in is what you're giving your body as a foundation to build your cells upon. So you need to have things that are in natural, bioavailable, 
So it has to be available to your body to uptake and use. And synthetics usually aren't. So get away from your synthetic vitamins. If you need a natural one, I have one that is absolutely amazing. Um, but you need that foundation. You need to have good natural um, so it's bioavailable in, in whatever, fats, vitamins, minerals, all of it. It needs to be something that your body can use and make use of and it's going to work effectively and efficiently in whatever its job is in the body. So just a bit of food for thought because I was having a chat with my kids and as you do, um, we're having a conversation about it. So you need to look at the the quality of the oils. You need to look at the smoke point of the oils. So you want to be cooking in something like coconut oil, but you can also have olive oil on your salads and take your flaxseed in your capsules or, or something like that. You know, you need to look at the different and generally that's why I think they started making trans fats was because they wanted to take something like a olive oil and then um adding the hydrogen to make it solid because that's how people wanted to spread it on their toast and that sort of thing. Um, but then you're adding in the trans fats of trying to like that they make it solid through making it artificially solid. And so you're adding in that element of the unknown. How is that actually going to work in my body if it's not a natural confirmation? It's not a natural structure because it's been synthetically derived. So um just some food for thought, food for your brain, <laughs> because your brain is made of fat. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've had experiences. I know there was a great book about a lady who her husband had Alzheimer's. I mean, don't quote me, but she she made him smoothies with like tablespoons of coconut oil every day, and um, poor man had to eat it. <laughs> But it helped. It helped because she was giving the kind of fats that the brain needed to, to be built upon, to be, to be doing repair work. And, and, um, you know, once they're in there, we have to wait the duration of time it takes to rebuild because our, our body's building new cells all the time. So whatever materials we're giving it, that's what our cells are being built from. Right. So let that sink in. Whatever you're giving your body, that's what your cells are going to be built from. So whatever you're giving it now, in five or ten years, that's what your cells are going to be made from. So if you want to have long health and longevity and good, you know, good health and ability to heal, you need to be giving your body now what you want it to be when you're older. You need to give it the good, the, the foundational building blocks. And like I said, I have amazing natural bioavailable products that um, I swear by honestly so much more energy and mental clarity and you just you need to support your body with that foundation because soils are deficient now you know we're we're up against it with all the toxicity around us we really need to give our bodies the best chance of getting that nutritional component right to build that foundation because we're always up against it in terms of what we're trying to detox from our bodies just by what's you know in the air around us um, all the time. So if I can help with anything, please reach out. If you have something to share, if you know more about trans fats than I do and have experiences, please love to hear from you. Um, pop something in the comments and um, just think about think about the quality of what you're putting in your body because that's the health that you're creating in the future. And um, have an awesome day. I hope that helps in some small way just to help you understand a little bit about the whole fat debate. <laughs> it's really complicated, but it doesn't have to be. You know, just go back to nature. Go back to what is good and natural and available on the plants around you, the herbs. You know, the seeds, sunflower seeds, that's, it's just, it's there. It's natural. It's on a plant and it's full of healthy fats. Just eat those. <laughs> so keep it simple. Make it simple. Um, grow lots of things that are good for you and eat them. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, have an awesome day. Take care.